In today's online tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute best video editor that there is. This is something that you've quite likely never seen before. And the reason I say that is because this is something that can create entire videos from a single text prompt. Not the traditional text to video, but something that can stitch together background music, voiceovers, different scenes, all to create a fully fledged video that you can then upload to social media. It is something that I think is going to change the game. And this is genuinely a glimpse into the future of AI. So make sure you stick around to the end because you're going to want to see what is coming in the future of artificial intelligence. So this is NVIDIA AI's version three model. Now with version three, this actually changes the game because they've actually added generative media, new voices, plugins, and more. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what that means. So for example, in any traditional text to video software, you might think, okay, let me create a text to video of a man wearing a funny hat or something along the lines. But with this, you can actually create entire stories from start to finish. So for the first example, what I'm gonna show you guys is a story about a baby penguin that gets lost on the way to school. So with this, you can either go ahead and click generate video, or you can actually just use the existing templates. So for example, if I wanted to create an animated film, which is kind of what I already want to do, I can just copy this, click create animated film, and then I can put my topic right in here. You can see I can also add some relevant information and opinions about the video. This is where I can start to add some key details about exactly what I want in the story. Maybe the kid's mother is a little bit angry. Maybe the kid is a little bit silly. Maybe he's a bit of a jokester. These are the kind of things that I can input there and it's going to give some really nice details on how to craft the story. You can see here what's really interesting about this as well is I can also use you know only generated images or only generated clips or stock media depending on which type of content you want to create it's completely up to you. Now of course if you're trying to create videos that I'm going to be showing you guys then definitely use the generated clips because they come out really well. Now of course what's really interesting about this as well is that we have tons of different styles to choose from. We've got Lego, we've got Minecraft, we've got Disney Pixar, we've got hand drawn, magical girl, psychological thriller. There's a variety of different things that we could use here. And this is something that I'm going to be personally using myself when I want to generate this. So for this one, I'm going to put Disney Pixar because I think this just looks really nice. For the background music, we could put playful and upbeat. Of course, I do want to say that the really, really good thing about this software is that it actually caters to those individuals that don't have a creative background. So if you're someone that's not like me and hasn't spent a little bit of time in the creative industry, you won't know what certain music is called what. Like you won't know about certain film scores. You won't know what actually matches up. So it's actually really useful that this software actually has the different styles and of course already has preset music backgrounds that you can think of. Of course as well for voice actors, which is really nice, is that you can actually use your voice. So something that's really cool about NVIDIA is that they actually have a plugin slash automation to where you can actually automate your own voice. And then if you want to have that on your own projects, you can actually put that in. You can see right here, I've got the AI grid for the narrator. And then you can see there are other speakers there as well. So that's going to be the other characters in the story. But that is something that is really cool. So if you want to create, you know, content at scale, this is going to be something that can help you out. Now, of course, for this one, I can either select male or female. So that's going to, you know, be up to them. But of course, subtitles as well. You can add any subtitle and you can see all of these different settings that are there. So for example, let's say you're a business guy, you can see add the classic Hormozy subtitle. Or if you're someone that, you know, wants clean styles, you can see add clean subtitles with an outline. Of course, for music preference, you can see use best audio available, use audio library, and it just gives you a variety of choice. Now, of course, for the language, you can select any kind of language that you want. So maybe if you want to translate this, this is going to be something that allows you to distribute your content across the globe. Very, very useful stuff. So with all of this, then of course you can click continue and then it's going to generate your video. So this is where you can see we can actually select the generative media. Of course, you can see you've got audiences. So I think for this, it's going to be a kid's video. For this one, I'm going to have the pace to normal. I don't want it to be too rapid cuts. And of course, you can see right here, something that's really useful is that we can actually suggest the kind of platform. So for those of you that, you know, YouTube shorts, that's going to be the vertical style or for Instagram reels, that's going to be the square style. So this is something that is really useful because this allows you to select the exact platform that you do want it to. So there's going to be no cropping, no editing. This is something that is really useful. So I'm actually going to use some of my generative credits here, but that's completely fine because that's exactly what I want. Every morning, my parents would waddle me to Penguin Elementary right across the ice fields. I was always a bit nervous, clinging to my mum's flipper. What if I slip, I'd say. What if I get lost? 
Don't you worry, Pip. We've got you. But this one day, oh my, things went a bit pear-shaped. I saw the most amazing shimmering fish scales scattered on the ice. Ooh, pretty! Suddenly, I was all alone in the big white world. Mom, Dad, I called out. You guys out. can see from there that that is something that looks really, really good from a simple text prompt. Of course, if you're a more advanced creator, you're going to be able to refine this with certain details that is going to make the video even better. But that was just a first example of how in literally seconds you can use a simple text prompt to create fully fledged videos. And I could create the video longer. I could make it 10 minutes. I could make it 12 minutes. There is just so much customization that you can do. Now, let's take a look at something that we can do when it comes to other video formats for different content strategies. So with this one, I'm going to say, give me a explainer video on the technological singularity of the future societies. Let's go ahead and click generate video. And so for this one as well, what I will do is I will actually just make this one one minute. I'm actually not going to use stock footage. I'm going to use some generative media. I'm actually going to have this one in an animation style as well. I don't want this one to be too realistic. But for this one, what I will do is I will actually do this one for YouTube shorts because I know that people actually do enjoy YouTube shorts. So you can see I've got the technological singularity, the future societies explained. I want this in an animation style for one minute for YouTube shorts, and then I'm gonna continue, and this is gonna be absolutely amazing. I've been thinking about the future a lot lately, and there's something we need to discuss. It's called the technological singularity, and it's a point in time where artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence. Now you might be thinking, that's just sci-fi nonsense, but hear me out. This isn't just about smart robots. It's about a fundamental shift in the way our entire society functions. Let's talk about what this means for us humans. Um, imagine a world where AI can do every job better than we can. And I don't just mean manual labor or data entry. I'm talking about everything, from writing symphonies to making scientific breakthroughs. This isn't just a change in the job market. It's a complete upheaval of what it means to be human. The scary part, we have no idea what comes after that point. Now let's do one last one about something a little bit creepy. So I'm gonna do a scary story about a old woman in a cabin in the woods. Pretty simple. So of course, with this one, I'm gonna actually select a anime style because I think anime style actually works really well. Then I'm gonna do two minutes. And then for this one as well, I'm gonna actually just use TikTok. So let's go ahead and continue. For years, I've lived alone in this cabin, surrounded by the whispers of the forest. At first, the solitude was a comfort. But lately, lately, something has changed. But then, then I saw it. A figure dark and twisted lurking in the corner of my eye. I tried to ignore it to pretend it wasn't there. But it grew bolder, closer. Last night I woke to find it standing over my bed, its eyes glowing in the darkness. And in that moment I understood. This thing, it's always been here. Waiting, watching. Now I know the truth. I'm not alone in these woods, and I never have been. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to check out NVIDIA as they kindly sponsored this video, and they are currently pioneering AI video creation.